check on your phone. Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. I hope everybody had a nice holiday. I'm here with my husband, Charles, and dog, Bailey, who might make an appearance because we're here with a very special guest. Say hi, Bailey, who is coming back. His name is Peter Sobey. He was on Thanksgiving Day, and we announced that we are running an Indiegogo campaign for him to try to get him back on his feet. And he's here to give you an update and to thank all of you who so generously donated. Please welcome back, Pete. How was your holiday, Pete? Hey, thank you, Chef AJ and Charles and Bailey. Um, yeah. A really, you know, this Christmas holiday and the New Year's have been triple extra special because, um, yeah, just the outpouring that I've seen through your Indiegogo campaign that you popped on me during our Thanksgiving interview that, uh, you know, I mean, I was flabbergasted on Thanksgiving when you announced that you're going to do this Indiegogo and then... Um, yeah, just like seeing the contributions come in and so many people stepping up that just want to help me get my van. It's unbelievable. Well, we certainly want you to get your van and make that dream a reality. So we're going to add some perks because we want people to donate. We have seven days left in the campaign. We're only 40% at the goal. And some people have donated so generously and they don't want to be named. They are anonymous people, but you know who they are because some of them even drove all the way from several states because they really wanted to meet you. And we thank them from the bottom of our hearts. But we're going to add something, guys. So for anybody that donates and the lowest level is 25 bucks, we have I've contacted some of the people I know from my show business days, world famous comedians and magicians who have been on the tonight show and anybody that donates, anybody that has donated to, of course, is going to be invited to a very exclusive comedy magic show. So think about that. We'll get that up on the, uh, on the page as soon as possible, but we just want to have some incentive to get the ball rolling because really if you know, I have 140,000 Facebook subscribers and we need $40,000. So 25, if everybody gave, let's see, how do we get that? Let's see. How much would we need from each person? One, four, four, da, da, divided First by. First of all, it's amazing that you're adding a new tier. Thank you for that. Yeah, We also yeah. added a new tier of private cooking classes with me and somebody already bought one. And actually, I actually donated, uh, Charles did, and look what we got. Yeah, da, 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 da. we got this you famous You guys cat. can get a painting. There are perks where, and, and by the way, it's not only a beautiful painting, but in case you missed the Thanksgiving show, Pete painted it with his mouth. In case you're just joining us, you might just see this handsome guy with the dapper hair and glasses. Pete's a quadriplegic, guys. I don't know if you know that. You know that. We, we could actually do a recap in case anybody's yeah. just joining us. What the, what the whole um, campaign was about was that uh, Pete's been driving himself for years um, with a specially equipped van. And it has to be equipped not just with a lift to get up, but it needs hand controls. And so it's going to be a lot, it's a lot more expensive than just your regular van. So he's been driving one and, and getting around great in Los Angeles all these years. But last year his van broke down and it's they're not able to repair it. So so there was another campaign um, that that was raising money and and did a great job and but didn't quite make all the way there so we started this indie go go campaign to see if we could get fill up the gap and so um, i believe raised 16 16 thousand dollars and we have twenty four thousand more to go um, so we're trying to get that uh in this last week because we'd like to get pete peter a van so that he can be out there and doing all the things doing the does. volunteer work he does volunteer work and he he donates his time at schools um, he also does these uh, paintings. The, he's part of an organization. He does these mouth paintings. And yes, the organization's called the MFPA, the Mouth and Feet Painting Artists. And it's a worldwide organization. They're, they're not a charity. They're actually a publishing house, but they only use published works by artists that paint with their teeth or their feet. And... The fact I'm so happy that you got one of my paintings because it's very, 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 very rare to have an original Peter Sobey painting. 
because oh, basically the MFPA, you know, being that they, I'm one of their painters, they do pay me monthly to paint. So they own the image of everything I paint. But after three years, I get my artwork back from Switzerland and I am allowed to sell, give away the original piece of art. And that piece of art that you now own, Chef yeah, it, says, it says that it's an original from 2017. Yeah. And so that was probably like about maybe my, maybe my fifth or sixth painting ever, you know? So you've got an early Peter Sovia original. Oh, good. Good. And, you know, yeah, that being cool. said, I think one of the, you know, I'm really grateful also because someone uh, bought one of the tiers that's going to be an original Peter Sobey painting that I create based on their concept. And I've already been discussing with them. It's a lovely husband and wife. And they kind of told me the story about how they met and they kind of have left it in my hands as far as what the painting can be. But I'm gonna kind of encapsulate the essence of how they met and their personalities into this painting. And I bring that up because there's still one tier on the Indiegogo, I believe that I kind of like in honor of Chef AJ and being the preeminent vegan chef out there, I created a sketch that I called the vegan velociraptor. And so it's a velociraptor kind of juggling veggies and fruits in a prehistoric setting. And I'll be completing that painting soon. And that painting, that Peter Sobe original will be up for grabs, whoever purchases it purchases that tier on the Indiegogo. And the uh, perks you can find on the uh, the link that AJ's putting in the-, the perks, the, that's so, what you call them, not yeah, tiers, the perks. perks. Yeah, so, so the perks you can look up and see which ones are available on the uh, Indiegogo website. If you, if you just scroll down and you can read about them and some of them have pictures as well. Yeah, and the thing is, is it's cumulative. So if you donate at a higher level, like $97, you get everything below. You get the $25 gift, the $50 gift, and the $75. So it ends up being exponentially more, more the higher you give. So that's kind and, of cool. And actually, I've got a special little guest here. Sonny, yeah. do you want to come over and say hello? Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. Sunday, Sunday Rose with her new... Fuji Polaroid camera, instant camera. Wow. Cool. Does she come with one of the perks? That would be something, wouldn't it? Because she is sweet and adorable. And she's got her own camera to take photos, huh? Yes. Is, that, is, is that a Polaroid instant like they used to it have? It is, or? yeah. Okay. Are you taking a picture, Sonny? Yeah. I'm oh, yeah. I have to turn it on. That's right. You have to turn it on. Yeah. So, Sonny, what do you think about my painting? I love it. Do you have any paintings you can show that are around your house right now, your apartment? I, I do. There's actually paintings right behind me that feature Muffin the Cat. Do you want to hold a couple of those up, Sunny? Could Sunny come show them? Well, there's one. So this one is Muffin sleeping on a snowman. Maybe and you this can is tell actually us featured in the Muffin's Fun and Curious Christmas children's book that I wrote and painted all the illustrations for. Oh, tell us about that because we have a, um, a painting of Muffin. So we'd like to hear about more about Muffin, how you came up with the idea and- Oh well, yeah, I remember that one. We can find oh, Muffin. Another one with Muffin. Yeah, so basically, you know, when I first- I'm gonna show them this one is actually the cover of the children's book. Oh, okay. So That's there's a lot of blank space there because there's writing on the actual book. It says Muffins, Fun and Curious Christmas and written and illustrated by Peter Selby. But this is the 
actual painting. Oh. I wish I had the book around to show the book, but I don't have it right by me. But, you know, when I first, you know, I, the last time we talked on Thanksgiving, you can go ahead and put the picture down now. Thanks, Sonny. Hi. When we first talked on Thanksgiving, I told the story about how my friend Miriam told me about the MFPA and I applied for them. And, you know, I was kind of stuck on what do I want to paint? And someone's like, paint something you're passionate about. And, and you know, like I'm passionate about my cat muffin. And I had this photograph of her that was kind of like a close up photo. So her, her head looked big and her body looked small. And that was kind of like the creation of muffin in a painting. And then the MFPA really enjoyed the muffin character so much they asked me if I would do a children's Christmas book with the muffin character and so you know that was it's like about 16 paintings that went into the book wow all right Is and real actually this new year I'll be creating a new muffin children's book for the MFPA I don't know the title yet but the theme is muffin traveling the world so it'll be muffin around all kinds of iconic, you know, Eiffel Tower and the Egyptian pyramids. So muffin's really getting out there and seeing the world and getting into everything. Totally, yeah. Is the real muffin there? Yeah, she. I'll go take a picture. Of her. She is probably sleeping because she just had her four p.m afternoon snack oh. which usually which usually means like a good but it looks like sunny took a picture of her yeah and you can show it once it gets out yep thank you did you paint the one behind you pete the big colorful one yes no that's just a painting that i like that I just like having in my painting corner as like an inspiration. It's actually really hard for me to paint something that large because I actually paint, this is my painting table right behind me here. And I actually paint looking down at the painting. It's like, you know, like this isn't a paintbrush, but this is like my stylus. Uh -huh. And I, but for painting, I look down and paint straight down. And so. And here's the picture of Muffin. Oh, great. You could hold it up and show it. This is what Muffin's done. Yep. It looks like Muffin's sound asleep, huh? She is. Wow. She didn't okay. even notice me when I took a picture. Wait, oh, she just took that picture right now. Yep. Yeah. With her new Instamatic camera. I didn't even know they still made those. Yeah, it must be a new version of them because I. It must yeah, it is. Them. Yeah, they've got like all kinds of like fun new instant cameras. But anyway, like for a picture, it's a painting that big. It's hard for me to reach the center of the painting because, you know, like that's why most of the biggest painting I've done is like 11 by 14 or so, because when I'm leaning over a table, I can only reach so far, you know? And so if the canvas is really huge, I literally can't reach the inside of the canvas, you know? All right, all right. What about a longer brush? That could be a possibility, but then it's a strange angle. One thing I have done is I've done four 11 by 14 paintings that go together to make a 22 by 28, 22 by 28 painting. So that's a little bit bigger. Okay. So oh, that's cool. Like four squares maybe that go together. Exactly. Yeah. That, that all fit together. Yeah. That's cool. How yeah. long does it take for each painting? Each painting takes me, I would say it, it takes me like, a few hours just to kind of come up with the idea. And then I sketch it on my iPad, which takes another probably two or three hours to get 
the sketch and all the colors I want. And then actually physically painting like about 14, 15 hours. And that's just like 11 by 14. Mm -hmm. Did you a lot, of, a lot of, you know, a lot of the time, I think in the last, in the Thanksgiving video too, when I actually demonstrated, the thing that takes a long time is like opening and closing the tubes of paint, squeezing the paint out, mixing the paint. Like if somehow paint was magically just on the palette and all I had to do was paint, it would take half the time, but half of my time is really spent like with my teeth opening tubes of paint, squeezing tubes of paint, you know, mixing the paint and then not getting the mix right, opening the tube again, squeezing more paint, like, oh, now I got the color right. And so it takes a lot of patience, which yes. let's say I have a lot of patience I've learned in my life. Well, yeah, you've had to, like you just describing your day last time, you've got to have a lot of patience because you mentioned it can take three hours in the morning just to get out of bed and get in your chair. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I hope people will consider donating. This is a very worthy cause. And like I said, you know, where else do you get perks? I mean, you can give money to charity and people, but you're getting something for it. So, right. So yes, some of the perks you can, you can see on the Indiegogo page, if you scroll down to the perks, but they're things like, uh, Chef AJ recipes courses. and yeah, courses, uh, programs, classes. Yeah. Classes. Not to mention, not from Chef AJ, yeah. but original art. And, and there are, there's also options to have Pete, Peter, um, or, or come up with the idea so that some original because he is doing an original one right now and, and of course you know I'm, I'm grateful that you have me on here again and i would like to thank both of you of course for doing this for me and but i really 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 want to give a heartfelt new year's thank you to all the people that donated already it's I mean, I'm seriously blown away by how much you've raised already. And, you know, for people that really have only met me through you, and some of them might not have even have seen the first interview, they're just probably going off of your vouching for me. I think it's, it's incredible that, um, that all those people out there that have contributed want to help out a guy like me just to so I could be more independent and be out there helping other people. And it's what makes the world go round, you know? What's the first thing? I'm not gonna say if you get your van, when you get your wheels, what's the first thing you're gonna do? Easy. I'm driving to Santa Monica and going to the ocean. All right. I've just been wanting to do that alone. Like there's something about like just going to the ocean alone with music you love at sunset, watching the sunset and the waves, listening to your favorite music and you're just by yourself, it's gonna be an amazing feeling. I know that's a little bit self-centered. It's like yeah. I'm going to uh, like, you know, it's not like the first thing I'll do is go to a soup kitchen and volunteer, but it's gonna be amazing. Like it's gonna definitely recharge my batteries to get to do that by myself again one day because that was often one of my favorite things to do by myself but how do you get the chair over the sand well i don't go to the sand but there's a couple spots along pch where you can literally there's like a like kind of like a sidewalk that's right past the sand so I, I, I can't get up to the ocean, but, you know, I'm about 100 yards away from the ocean, just outside of the sand, you know? Yeah, there is there is something special about that feeling. I know when I first came to Los Angeles, I would go to the beach and just, just looking at the ocean just puts you in a frame of mind, just a better frame of mind. So, so it's definitely something I, I haven't done for a while. So we have, we, we're in the... Uh, Palm Springs area. So we see a lot of sand, but no water out here. So 
Yeah, you know, that's, that's all we see. So after yeah. after you get to the beach, where, what what's going to be your first volunteer gig? Well, probably not. Probably most likely, I'll get to start my mentoring, volunteering again with the Kabbalah Center, which I really look forward to. Is just like you know, kind of you you get a table with about ten new students and. You're, you're kind of their mentor on their spiritual journey. And it's a definite, very fulfilling thing that I love to do that I've missed doing. And of course, things have been a little different because of the pandemic, but ideally about, I'm hoping, you know, after two years of pandemic, by the time, you know, my goal is to purchase a van in February, March-ish, and then, it'll take time to get adapted for my exact needs. So that should hopefully be June or July-ish by the time the van is in my parking spot and I can drive it is my goal. And so obviously I'm hoping that the world might be a little less pandemic-y by July maybe. Yeah, because you probably can't volunteer at schools just yet, even if you could get there, right? I'm guessing. Yeah, not quite yet. But actually, thanks for reminding me, because that's the other thing that I'm really looking forward to is working with the Triumph Foundation and reigniting that program where I can go speak to schools. And because Triumph has so many great volunteers themselves, I can enlist other people with different disabilities to go speak at different schools and stuff like that. And, what and there's actually, what, now what that you even mentioned it, there's also like a couple of my friends associated with children's hospitals are just waiting for, you know, once again, the pandemic to cool down, but there's definitely a couple of children's hospitals I can go to and do a painting demonstration. That's actually the one of the things I love the most because I bring canvases and a bunch of paintbrushes and paint. And after I give a little talk and do a demonstration myself, the kids will, they try mouth painting. And it's, you know, it, it's so great on so many levels because not only do they just have so much fun trying to paint with their mouth, but not to be sad or anything, but at the children's hospital, you're, you're with a lot of children going through leukemia, really heavy, heavy stuff for little souls like that. And just to kind of see them smile and laugh for a little bit while we're all painting and they're all like so wondrous as they're surprised at like how fun it is to actually paint with your teeth, you know? So I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to getting back to doing that again. What grade children do you speak to in, in schools? Well, with the schools, most of it is middle school and some high school, but mostly middle school. So maybe that's like, kind of 12, like 12, 13, 14, maybe. Yeah, that's kind of like the age when, you know, it's a good time to talk about disability as far as like, you know, being careful and what disability means. It's like, you know, when kids are, you know, I've, I've spoken at a couple grade schools too, but the middle school is like a great wheelhouse because it's like at the time when, you know, the kids have formulated ideas and thoughts and you can talk about disability and what it means and, you know, accepting people that do things differently and stuff. And they're very, really open and receptive about it. They haven't gotten to high school yet where they're cynical, you know, you know, they have lots of questions about it and they're, and I think it's like a great age to really, to really, and not only just disability, like when I talk about just people being different, it could be anything, you know, like obviously I'm disabled, so I might look differently and do things differently, but there's a whole world full of people that look different and do things differently. And to me, like, you know, just everyone accepting everyone as they are and who they are is so important, you know? Sure. I, I actually just had a really great conversation with someone a couple of days ago and we talked about, 
the act of giving and sharing like so many people have done for me through your Indiegogo. But there's this thing I call the sesame seed theory where it's kind of like, there's gonna come a point where good, there's the scales of good and bad in the world. And any small, tiny, tiny, tiny little act of goodness you could do could be that sesame seed that weighs the scales in the favor of good. And then the scales keep going further and further in good. And who wouldn't want to be that sesame seed? You know, like that one little act of kindness that you were the sesame seed that made the scales go toward good over bad, you know? I don't know if I'm making sense, but you know what I mean? It's like every chance to give and to share. And I'm not just saying this for my Indiegogo. I'm just saying it for anyone in life. And it's how I feel like I like to live my life is, you know, any, you know, there's great big acts of goodness and kindness, but any little tiny act of kindness could be that act that changes the entire world. It could be something, just small things like trying to leave the world a little better than when you woke up in the morning, it could be something like even exactly, a piece yeah. of trash or an empty can, putting it in a garbage can, little things make a difference. Exactly. Too. Yeah. Picking friend, up a piece of, sure. of litter and putting it in the garbage. Mm -hmm. Boom. You just change the world. We have a question from Mandy who's watching live, but first I want to read a comment from one of the anonymous contributors. And by the way, you can contribute more than what the perks are if you want. Some people have. And if you aren't comfortable having your name on the campaign, you can always choose anonymous. But one of the anonymous contributors said, I wish I could have contributed more. I've been in really difficult situations and people, including strangers, helped me on my way. So, you know, I do believe what goes around comes around. And uh, if you have it, you know, $25, if everybody watching right now gave about that much, we'd almost be done with the campaign. Hey, Pete, Mandy wants to know, do you have any other characters other than Muffin that you'd like to write a picture book about? You could do one about Bailey. That'd be fun. Yeah, that's a really good question. And the answer is no, that I haven't created any other characters yet. Well, actually, you know, Vegan Velociraptor is kind of a new character. And, um, <laughs> and I am creating a new character to be Muffin's traveling sidekick in the new Muffin book. Oh, good. Everybody needs a sidekick. I haven't decided what the character is yet, but it's going to kind of be like Woodstock is to Snoopy, you know? Sure. So it's going to be a, either a bird or a squirrel or something. Okay. Well, That's we'll look for cool. that. That's sure. cool. So nice. Well, Fingers crossed. We've got seven days and uh, everybody watching, if you can't donate, maybe you could share this video or just the link to the Indiegogo with people who might consider donating because we'd really like to get Pete a van so he can yeah. make a difference in the world. And thanks to everybody who's yeah, donated so far. Thank you so guys far. so we much. Who, you know, we don't have personal it. thank you notes for you, but we will thank you personally when we, well, not probably not everybody personally by name, but we're, we have added as a perk a wonderful show with comedians that have been on The Tonight Show. We can't mention their names yet because we are not we don't have the lineup locked in and, and a magician, a good magician, like a working magician. And we'll do a special show for everyone that donated for the Indiegogo. And if there's room in the Zoom room after that, even the ones that donated a year ago for the GoFundMe, which is how we found out about this actually, because uh, we're, we're combining the two campaigns because a, a, a equipped van, for someone like Pete, it's not just one you can go buy off the lot. There's a lot of bells and whistles. And if you want to learn how he drives, there's a video on the Indiegogo page and he can show you that. Colleen says, just donated. Hope we can do this for him. Thank you. And I know Violet donated. And I mean, I hate asking people for money, but I don't know how else to get a van. I mean, unless it just drops down from the sky. Specially equipped. Oh, here's a Mandy says, "What about a mouse as a uh, as a, as a sidekick?" Oh, that'd be a, that'd well, be you know of, what? That's actually yeah, interesting when Mandy yeah. says that because my very, 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 very first painting. Remember, I said it was of a photo of a muffin, but I added a mouse in the background, and the painting is called uh, 
uh, the mouse is painting, but instead of photo bombing the, like, you know, someone photo bombed your photo picture. Bombing. In this one, the mouse was painting bombing Muffin's <laughs> painting. Funny. That's it's funny she says that because my very first painting was Muffin and a Mouse. I can't believe I didn't think of that. So, Mandy, cool. you Mandy. might have just gave me my answer. Mandy's There's very creative. Hey, um, one of the live Facebook viewers is saying, trying to make a payment, but it's not accepting it. Tried two cards. Can they Venmo? I don't know how Indiegogo works. Do you know why they would not accept somebody's payment? Uh, I don't know. I can... I, can I don't know. I'm, all I would say is not to sound like uh, greed or anything, but you could just Venmo me at Peter Sobey. Yeah, if or they can, you could email us at help at chefaj.com and we'll try to personally help you either way. Yeah, we could. Yeah. Then we'll put you in touch with Peter. So yeah, do. so if, if that's not yeah. working, but we don't know why. Uh, Kimberly's looking forward to hearing the story of your first beach trip. Too bad we can't, maybe we'll put a body camera on you, Pete. Like, yeah, totally. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll, I'll have to figure out a way because the key is doing it alone. So I wouldn't want a camera oh, right. there with me, but I'm sure I can. Actually, you know what? I do have these new Ray Ban glasses that can take video. So I will take video. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, um, uh, uh, Ridwan is saying you can call the sidekick Mandy the Mouse. Oh, interesting. I like that. And be a super cute mouse because Mandy's super cute. She's from Australia. Could be an Australian mouse. Wow, that's even more cool. Yeah, yeah, maybe Muffin meets Mandy the mouse in Australia and takes her on her further adventures. I think that's sure. right. I like how this is shaping up. Yeah, see, we should have these regular sessions. Like it's like a creative writing session. All right. Pitch some stories here. Yeah. Wow. Well, thanks for all the great ideas, Mandy. I love it. Yeah, when thanks all of you who have donated and who will donate to the Indiegogo in the next seven days so Pete can get his van and continue painting works of art. Pete, like do you think we should frame it or just, you know, there's a thing now where people like to hang things without frames. That's like a, a style now. Yeah, I mean, I guess it depends on what your home style is. Like Eclectic. I still like to see a painting in a frame, personally. You do? Okay. Didn't come with a frame, though. I was just kidding. I know, right? <laughs> I'm I just... think I was actually thinking about framing it before I shipped it out. But then because I met the married couple that were going to you the next day, it just was all so fast. And I was yeah. able to get your painting so fast. So. Okay, look, we, we love it. I mean, this is this is just so beautiful. Uh, Karen says another $25 for me. Thank you so much. Every little bit helps. And, you know, um, enough people donated the $25 level we'll have this done in a week so we're just keeping our fingers crossed yes. and thank uh, you all so much and thank you guys again Chef AJ and Charles. Well, I just want to see you having some wheels other than your wheelchair some yeah. real wheels some tires all right all right Peter thanks happy Good. new year Pete thank you so much and thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ live please come back tomorrow when we begin at our special time, because it's Dr. John McDougall and Mary McDougall for McDougall Monday, we're going to start at 10 a.m. And he's going to be talking about diabetes as if he was your doctor. And then at 2 p.m., Dr. Doug Lyle. Okay, Pete. Well, I hope in seven days we can say we've done this. Well, thank you again. And happy new year, everyone. And much love. I'm just so grateful. Thank you. We're grateful that you're in the world. Take care.